I'm Isabel Orber and I play Zara in Crockers. What was your experience with the first day in the woods? It was very rainy towards the end, but um, towards the start it was really good. Um, I enjoyed watching everyone being covered in blood and slime and not having me being covered in slime. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good experience. I remember Bailey being very anxious about being covered in slime. Jesus Christ, Sarah, what the fuck? And um, there's a lot of anticipation. Um, and who was it that was on the tree? Someone was on the tree with the slime and he had to run forward and it was just tipped all over him and it was hilarious. Hello, uh, my name is Blake and I'm playing the role of Dan in Quaggers. What do you remember about the first audition? Uh, the audition was, I remember it, it was a cold winter's day. Rach, what's cooking? Um, I remember rocking up to this warehouse uh, in Hitchin. I came out of the audition feeling pretty good, you know? I never, I, I, uh, I never tried to come out of an audition thinking, yeah, I've got that job, but um, and yeah, I came out of it thinking it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. A man, a big, burly man. Hey, Rachel. How about you get over to me and we can get down to... Oh, I'm kidding. Uh, tell me about the guts tent. <laughs> oh, the guts tent. Boy, did that smell after a while. Um, no, that was, again, it was really fun. It was even more red. Everything was red and purple at the end of it. Um, again, it's something I've not really experienced before, but something that was really enjoyable. And it's kind of nice because I suppose with the horror you see a lot kind of done in post-production so it's kind of nice to see how much you can do on the actual shooting itself. Oh, no. oh. Tell me about your perspective from the vomit pipe and what you experienced. Uh, my perspective from the vomit pipe was that time slowed down. Um, it was, it, it, it was a lot of fun. I was, I was there, I was there for a while thinking, God, this is, this is, this is really like, in, in a way, like the fact that it went on so long, I think actually really helped me because I got to a point where it was like, God, this is getting really uncomfortable. And I think that kind of helped me get into the moment a bit more. <laughs> Fuck! Um, yeah, it just didn't seem to end. It was getting in my ears. I kept on trying to, it went in one ear, I'd turn my head and get in the other ear, and I, there was just no comfortable spot to be. Um, which I suppose kind of helped, really. <laughs> uh, I'm Jodie Bennett, and I play Rachel. What do you remember from your audition and the scream and falling over the boxes? <laughs> um, I completely forgot there were boxes in the room, so I just thought I'd run backwards, try and picture something in front of me, it'd be really great, and then I just hit them and I was like, I can recover from this, I can stay standing up. And you know, when you fall in slow motion, it just went and I couldn't stop, and then there was a lot of boxes there. <laughs> Yeah, it's really amazing. What do you remember about the woods? Um, falling over again. So the very first take that we did on the very first day was running out of the tent and running away. And it was really dark and I ran and I fell over a massive stump, not even like a tiny little tree. I fell flat on my face over a really obvious stump I should have seen. The second shoot, what, do you, what was your highlight, blood or gore-wise or gust wise um, I didn't actually get much fake blood on me in the second one. I really enjoyed um, the first time when we were filming outside, I had a little spray of blood, which went 
for about five minutes while I got drenched in blood, which was great. And then all of the second day of shooting, I was waiting and waiting to get covered in blood. And then I didn't actually need to. <laughs>